Hello everyone! Today, we're checking out Bubble Sort, a super easy way to put numbers in order. Let's jump right in. Let's take a look at our example numbers. 6, 3, 4, 1, 5, 2. We're going to sort them in ascending order, which means from the smallest to the largest. Are you ready? Let's go! We compare the first two numbers. 6 is greater than 3, so we swap them. Moving on, we compare the next pair, 6 and 4. Again, 6 is bigger, so let's swap. We keep going. Compare 6 and 1. 6 is larger, so guess what? Swap time. Next up, 6 and 5. We swap those two. Finally, for this pass, we compare 6 and 2. And, yes, we swap. Notice something. The largest number, 6 has bubbled up to the end of the list. That's one round down. But we're not done yet. We have to repeat the process. But this time, we can ignore the last element since it's in its final position. We're back for round two. Remember, we've already secured the number six in its final spot, so we can leave it be. Now, let's tackle the rest of the list. First up, three and four. They're already in the right order. Three is less than four. No need to swap here. Moving on. Next, we compare 4 and 1. This time, 4 is bigger than 1, so we need to swap these guys. On to 4 and 5. They're also in order because 4 is smaller than 5. No swap needed here. Now, we've got 5 and 2. Clearly, 5 is larger, so let's swap these. And that concludes round 2. We've successfully sorted another number, and our list is getting closer to being fully sorted. In round 3, we compare the first two numbers, 3 and 1. Looks like 3 is bigger, so it's time for another swap. Next up are 3 and 4. These two are in the correct order, no swapping needed here. Moving on to 4 and 2. You guessed it, 4 is larger than 2, so a swap is coming right up. And just like that, we've completed round three. The number four has sailed into its correct position. The first half of our list is still a bit mixed up, but don't worry, we're getting there. In round four, first up, we have one and three. They're in the correct order, as one is less than three. No need to swap here. Onward we march. Now we have three and two. Oh, looks like we caught a bubbly mismatch. Time to swap these two. Would you look at that? With just one swap, we've sorted our list. All numbers are now in ascending order, but we still need to go for round five. In round five, we start with our first pair, one and two. They're already in order, nothing to swap here. Look at that. No swaps needed at all. This means our list was already sorted before we started round five. This is a common scenario in bubble sort where the algorithm will still go through all the motions even if the sorting is completed. If you enjoyed this explanation and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for our channel. Have questions or want to see more sorting algorithms in action? Drop us a comment below. Until next time, keep popping those bubbles in.